Hi, and whew, it is hot out here, but we are in the middle of summer, and so I'm going to try to make this quick so I don't melt on you. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about Proposition 15 and what this proposition is. So this proposition will bring a tax on commercial and industrial properties for education and local government funding. So a yes vote supports this constitutional amendment to require commercial and industrial properties to be taxed based on their market value rather than their purchase price. Currently, they're being taxed on their purchase price and not their market value, so a no vote will keep this remaining the same. Let's talk about where the tax, where the funds are going to go. So first, the revenue would be distributed to the state to supplement decreases in revenue from the state's personal income tax and corporation tax due to increased tax deductions and to counties to cover the cost of implementing the measure. Second, the 60 the 60 percent remaining of the funds would be distributed to local governments and special districts, and 40 percent would be distributed to school districts and community colleges. Of the 40 percent, we have 11 percent going to community colleges and 89 percent for public schools, charter schools, and county education offices. So Proposition 15 will be on the ballot this November, this upcoming election. So I encourage you to dive deep a little bit more, do some research before you vote. And if you have any more questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you and answer those questions. And if you are in the market to buy or sell, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to help you. Until then, have a great, wonder have a great rest of your week, have a wonderful day, and be safe and think positive thoughts. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.